might wonder, uh, when the Sixers got back in the game, they had uh, Bannon and Richardson in the game. And they got it down to nine, and then there was a change made. And sometimes uh, the coaches stay with that just a little longer. McAdoo misses. It's Philadelphia ball. But these two coaches know their team so well, and they have an idea of when you've gotten the most out of whatever, whatever you have out there. You said the key thing. They know their team, and they know their players well. McAdoo guarding Tony. And Andrew Short, Dawkins, keeps it alive out to Andrew Tony. 7.15 remaining in the fourth period. L.A.'s defense is penetrable. And a bank shot by the Doc, who has 18 points. Tony, high score with 26. And they've got it down to 10 with seven minutes to go. Now they got to, they have to be aware of not letting the Lakers get inside, get the three-point plays, get the offensive rebounds, or any of those fast-break baskets. And a Philadelphia foul. It'll be the 14th foul on the Sixers. Norm Nixon checks back into the ball game, and Magic Johnson will get a rest. So here's Nixon, who has 10, and double figures in assists. Magic goes out with 19. 6.45 to go, third period. Cooper hits. He is 2 for 5 from the field. Nixon is 4 for 17, as Cunningham is the man off the bench now. But this team has so much firepower, they can get it from so many different places. Julius misses, breaking his wilts. They didn't get back on the D, and a basket. Billy wants a timeout. Wilkes, 11 for 20. McAdoo, 7 for 11. Kareem, 10 for 17. Magic, 7 for 13. These guys are shooting. A lot of Malaya, but they're shooting. 17,505. Cheering on the Los Angeles Lakers, who are trying to make it three games to one against the Philadelphia 76ers in this 1982 NBA World Championship Series. In L.A., doing it, hitting from outside, penetrating inside. They have 14 fast-break layups alone, and Norm Nixon has assisted on 13. 13 assists for Nixon. You watch the clock nearly halfway through the fourth period. And Julius banks the shot in, and they're crashing the offensive boards as you see Philadelphia doing it. Irving now 9 for 13 with 20 points. 12-point L.A. lead. They've gotten as close as 9. Cooper, Bobby Jones to Julius. Tony down court. He's got cheeks, too. Close. Got it back to 10. And every time Philadelphia's gotten it close, LA's come up with a back-breaking three-point play on three occasions. No basket. And we have a foul, and it's going to be the 15th foul on the Sixers. Here's it. Julius coming down. Looks like he's looking for someone to pass, then he accelerates, and that's it. Is this what they call poetry in motion or something like that? Definitely. Personal foul, Bobby Jones, his third. The Lakers, with 5.26 to go in the fourth period, have not yet committed a team foul. Julius with 22 points, trying to bring his team back. He has hit seven of his last eight from the field. Magic Johnson has come back in the ball game, so Magic, Nixon... Jamal Wilkes, Kareem, and Michael Cooper are the five in there. The trapping defense, double teaming all over the place. Tough to break. You heard our coaches. Kevin Lockery said it's an out-and-out -out zone defense, in his opinion. And Mo Cheeks hits from the corner. Ten points again. Wilkes with 24 is the high score for the Lakers. He had 24 in game number one. Jamal. Take on Julius. Rolls off, and Dawkins gets it to Tony. They can knock it down to eight. Bobby Jones inside. It's eight. And L.A. wants a timeout. So, 
If you've been watching a total domination by Los Angeles, this is the crunch time coming up for them because Philadelphia is making the run. Billy Cunningham trying to find the combination. 439 remaining in the fourth. He knows his skills are temporary. He's read about other players who have squandered their fortunes. He really has it together, but what a superb player to watch and a great gentleman. True in both instances, Dick. I like, I like what he said after uh, one of the games. He said, I, I like to be able to, to win without bragging and lose without crying and be, be ready to go to work tomorrow. And you have to be very articulate to think of the words to say it, and Julius is. Team fouls, as we told you. Five for Philadelphia. They're over the limit. L.A. none. This is important time here as the Sixers put on their trap. Philadelphia the closest since they were trailing 11 to 4 in the first period of the game. 420 to go. Watch the clock. Fourth period. Eight-point game. Wilkes misses, but Kareem is there. And it is a Philadelphia foul. It's on Dawkins, and Kareem will shoot one of the penalty. Dawkins third. And what happened was Dawkins was fighting so hard to keep Kareem from getting the position to get the sky hook. That when the shot was taken, he wasn't able to screen him out. Kareem has virtually matched his playoff average. This is the free throw as 28,000 career points plus. Second to Wilt Chamberlain, the all-time leading scorer. He is one for three from the free throw line. And two for four. Nine-point Laker lead, 4.15 remaining, fourth period. Sixers. Trailing 2-1 in game, facing the trap again. Nixon and Cooper out the cheeks. Jones setting a screen. Magic fights through it. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Andrew Tony looking for room. Hits the jump shot. And they're back to seven now. 103-96. Closest since 11-4. The clock continues to run here. L.A. has not picked up a team foul. Philadelphia in the penalty. Kareem double team. Baseline Nixon to Magic Johnson. It goes in. They got the roll that time. The coaches show the tenseness of this moment. L.A. doesn't want to blow it. Philadelphia needs to get back in. And a foul on L.A., the first team foul. Coming back in is Bob McAdoo for the Lakers. So Pat Riley obviously feels he wants the scoring from McAdoo. And rebounding. Cooper goes out of the game. Wilkes commits his fourth foul. First team, as we said. And they end up with good outside shooting. But the Sixers are executing so much better now. 320 on the clock. Julius finds Cheeks. Mo Cheeks hits the jump shot. Seven points. L.A. has the lead. It was once 19. Philadelphia got it to 11. It went up again, then it was down to nine. Crowd silent here in Los Angeles. A little bit anxious, too. The Lakers' total domination. And Norm Nixon misses the shot. Dawkins, the rebound. Jamal Wilkes knocks the ball away into the hands of Kareem. And that was a real tough break for the, for the Sixers because they had a chance 